Hey guys, my name is Ori, and today we are going to be talking about some of the issues that I have with Black Ops 3. Now these are completely opinion based, and if you do not have the same opinions as me, that is completely fine. If you want to argue with me down in the comments below, that is perfectly acceptable as well. Um, I understand that everyone has their own opinions from everyone's own experiences in the game, and these are just some of the opinions that I have generated from those experiences. So one of the first things I think is an issue in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is one of the weapon types. And I know this is going to be kind of a weird weapon type um, because I don't think many people complain about it. But my issue is with shotguns. I cannot stand shotguns. When I get in a game with someone using a shotgun, I get so mad. And that's for a couple of reasons. First one is the way the maps are played in their favor. Most maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 are those arena style maps with a bunch of different levels um, in close quarter fighting. Always action, always high paced. And well shotguns excel in that. I mean I'm not gonna lie, that is that is completely acceptable. Shotguns are great at close quarters. And there's no no disguising that. But that's not the issue. The issue is when you get into those medium range battles. So for example, Nuketown. I know Nuketown is an extremely close quarters game in map, but it's it still has those medium range engagements. It has probably some of the most because think about looking across the map between those buses and seeing someone and running at them to try and get their killed. Now you could debate those are long range engagements as well, but generally people aren't just camping, or hopefully they aren't, because that's just annoying, um, but generally people aren't just going to sit back and camp. People are going to be jumping through, people are going to be trying to push your spawn and get as many kills as possible. So when people do that, it's so easy for shotgunners to engage in those medium ranges because people aren't staying at those extreme ranges. And that is the problem. Shotguns should not be that effective at medium range. The Brecci, for example, is just ridiculously good at medium range. It is a 2-3 to three shot kill where it should not be a 2-3 to three shot kill. I, it is ridiculous how much range some of these shotguns get. And that's why I think they are the weapon class that needs to be changed in this game. takes away from some of the other classes that are better at that medium to close range instead of shotguns which are just supposed to be good at close range. For example, uh, the VMP. The VMP is a great submachine gun, no lying about that, but it does have a lot of recoil and it excels in those medium to close range areas. And that's what submachine guns are for, those medium to close range engagements. They are not for those long range engagements, that's what for the assault rifles are for, and the sniper rifles. But shotguns in Black Ops 3 have evolved from a close range weapon to a close and medium range weapon. Almost taking away the point of some machine guns in my, in my opinion. Now I still, I, I hate to use shotguns, I think using them is just, it just feels cheap. I feel like it's almost too easy if you get into a good spot. Now granted, getting into those good spots can be difficult. Um, running into that building on Metro on the left here, um, you know, it can be difficult getting if someone's sitting up there with an assault rifle or sniper rifle. No doubt about that. But when you're in here, and if you have a Brecci, you can devastate the enemy team. Because you can just keep spam firing. You're going to get collateral damage on someone if you're not directly shooting at them and you're already shooting at someone next to them. And it's just, I feel like it's so overpowered. I really wish that they changed the shotguns in the game so they went back to a close quarters weapon. And until they do that, I think shotguns are going to be overpowered. Until they reduce the range of those weapons, Shotguns will be completely overpowered, and it's really sad to see that. But anyway, besides shotguns, there is another big issue I have with the game right now, and I think pretty much 90% of the community uh, feels this way as well, 
and that is with the DLC weapons and supply drops. So, in the supply drops, obviously, you have the chance of getting um, a new weapon or a rare weapon. For example, uh, they just dropped a few new weapons, uh, that being the E9 Rift, the Banshee Shotgun, the Buzz Cut, and the Nightbreaker. And these are just, they've just been released in, it feels like, like, everyone's already like, oh, you need to get these weapons, like, get these weapons, I need these weapons. And it is just, like, I understand why uh, Activision does it, and that is because they want the money. Like, they're business people. That, that makes sense. They're a business, they need revenue to keep going. And so... Generating, generating revenue off of any source possible, such as supply drops, is easy for them. Because people will pay to get these cool new weapons, be unique, have everything in the game, because that's just what people want, and they know that. But the problem is how overpowered they make them, and, that, and that's understandable also why they do that. But, for example, the FAMAS, or in this game, the FFAR. That thing, I got that thing, and it is a freaking beast. It has, if you learn to control the recoil, which isn't hard, just put a grip on it. If you learn to control the recoil, it has the range of an assault rifle, has the fire rate of a submachine gun, and you can, so it becomes a weapon that dominates in close quarters, medium range, and long range. It is just so, so good. And that needs to be fixed. The how good these weapons are needs to be buffed because that's I think that's why people are starting to get so mad because everyone just wants these really really good weapons uh, and just to dominate the enemy team and yeah who doesn't everyone likes to be really good in Call of Duty it's it's not it's not unheard of but if they took out that insane aspect of these weapons just dominating people would be much happier and much okay with oh cool like you got one of the new weapons but if just because they dominate so much makes them so much more appealing but that's also why Call of Duty does that it's because Call of Duty knows that people will pay for these weapons and people want to do the best and so if they're if people are gonna spend 3,000 COD points on getting one of these weapons then Sure, why not make them better? Make people want to spend more of those COD points trying to get them. Because, you know, I feel like it's this vicious cycle that they're trying to get people into that, oh, hey, you bought 3,000 COD points this once. Why not do it again? And it's, it's really sad to see. I really wish that Call of Duty would make it easier to get these weapons. Um, maybe... I have to say, I heard this great idea. I think it was by another YouTuber named the Pro Gamer J. I'm sure many of you have heard of him. And he said, "Why not make a lobby where you can go in and at least test the weapons?" And I think that's perfectly acceptable. Why wouldn't that be acceptable to make a lobby that you can go in, test the weapons, and see, oh, do I want to try and get these weapons, or just at least let people get the experience so they're feel like they don't aren't cheated out of anything because people are clearly upset with the fact that they aren't getting these new DLC weapons like and it's just it's sad like come on Call of Duty just give give the people a way to at least experience them not just not it doesn't have to be like you have to give them um, or like make it easier for us to get like increase the chances in supply drops but that would be awesome but just give us a way to at least test them and use them so you know we feel like okay we don't need these but that's obviously what they're trying to create because they're a business so it's hard because everyone's ideas and what everyone wants is for Call of Duty just to give us the stuff and no, be okay with it, but it's never going to happen because they are a business, and this is this is exactly how they're going to generate revenue. Um, and it's pretty sad to see that. But also another idea I've had for.
for a way to get these weapons is say what if, say they lowered actually the chance of getting them in a supply drop okay just hear me out for a second what if you lowered the chance of getting them in a supply drop but if you found it in a game that's how you unlocked it if you picked it up a game then you unlocked it the person who had it kept it but then if you picked it up you also were granted that weapon so for, so for example if someone killed me with the iron gym and then they picked it up, they would get the Iron Gym. I think that's a great way to make people play the game more, but also be happy with DLC weapons and be like, oh, cool, we got this awesome lobby with a bunch of people, with, with um, the Banshee, the new energy shotgun. Um, and I, I just think that would be a good way to balance it. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know all of your opinions down below. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit it with a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Also, if you did make it this far and you have watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I used to call myself Ultra, and that has changed. I kind of wanted to go for a different name. I didn't really like the name. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And please, please leave your feedback down below. I really want to know all of your thoughts on it. But anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great day, and take care.